Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to do a British classic. I'm going to make the full Monty, yes indeed, a full English breakfast, but I'm going to do it in the air fryer. Actually the last time I made a video of full English breakfast it was 2016, so it's definitely due for a remake. And also there were a few controversial things in that first one which I will explain about later. So the full English or the full Scottish, Welsh or Ulster fry have been around for centuries and the, and the contents of the breakfast vary between the different countries. But the core of it is the same sausage, bacon, eggs and other stuff. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. And let's get on with it. Your full English breakfast air fryer style. I'm going to make breakfast for one and that is me. And this is actually far too much, but we'll see. So what you need, I won't say ingredients, they're components or elements. So I'll start with the compulsory bits. I've got two sausages, two rashers of back bacon, and this is smoked. You could use unsmoked, completely up to you. One slice of Bury black pudding, black pudding from the town of Bury in Lancashire, who claim to make the best, but other people may disagree. And one egg, two eggs would be more like it, but I'm having all this as well, so yeah. And the optional bit, baked beans, mushrooms, tomato. Not controversial, you might think, but apparently to some people they are, because they were kind of introduced in the 60s as the idea of the full English grew and its contents grew, and Heinz beans promoted their product as a part of the English breakfast. Yes, they did. Personally, normally, I would not have tomato because I don't really like it that much. I much prefer beans, but that's me. And the other thing that I would have is hash browns. And I did that in my last video in 2016. It got absolutely slaughtered for it. Good grief. You wouldn't believe the passion, the fury, the anger. Come on. It's only breakfast. <laughs> However, pretty much every pub and cafe that sells a full English will include hash browns. So no. Some people would put bubble and squeak in, which is uh, leftover mashed potato fried up with cabbage. And I've got nothing against that. I think it's, it's great. It's, it's a good contrast to all the meat. Anyway, I digress. I've got to do some prep. Sorry, forgot. You'll also need one or two slices of bread and some butter because we will have toast. We will not have fried bread because we're doing it in the air fryer. There's no lakes of grease to be soaked up by your bread. Sorry about that. But your heart will thank you for it. We need to cut the tomato in half. And then reduce the size of the mushrooms. If you've got any loose dirt on them, just brush it off. And then pull out the pull out the stalk and quarter it. Right, I've got the air fryer oven preheating to 180 degrees Celsius and it's a wonderful thing. I did a review of it a month ago or so and there'll be a link and discounts in the description below. So here's the plan. I'm going to do the meat stuff and the tomato in this tray which will go in the bottom of the oven. The other stuff will go on the shelf, on this wire shelf above, but uh, because some of those things are runny, like the egg. I'm, do, I'm going to do the egg in this pie dish on there. I've got some oil in there already. And the beans in a bowl and the mushrooms in this foil tray with a good amount of butter. This will go in there to preheat the oil. Of course the egg only takes about five minutes, but uh, other things take longer. So I'll put those in for five minutes to start with and these as well. The first stage, five minutes, has now become ten minutes. Then I'll add the bacon and the black pudding. Now I'm going to break the egg into the pie dish carefully. And 
and then put that in along with the beans. I've taken out the mushrooms because they're pretty much done. And I put the bacon, sausage and tomato and black pudding on the top or, you know, raise it up and then the wire shelf will go underneath. Now everything's cooked, so we'll start plating it up. I got my bacon, egg, sausages, black pudding, and tomato. That could have gone better. And the egg. <laughs> I made another egg, because I really didn't want splashes of tomato on, on, it, on the photo. And the beans. Uh, you look at stuff online about English breakfast and there is a lot of stuff and um, a lot of people have like a phobia of baked beans touching their egg which I really can't understand but you know. Okay it's taste test time with me and um, right so it's always served with a sauce not a hot sauce uh, a sauce out of a bottle there's the brown one or the red one. So I think the brown one is probably the most popular and it's it's kind of fruity and tart and you know quite unusual. So this is Daddy's this brand. The other brand, major brand, is um, it's not Hewlett Packard, it's HP. Which stands for Houses of Parliament. Okay. Nice. I am concerned about the, well I'm not concerned about the egg. I've done a few of these and you can get a nice runny yolk, which is what I look for, you know, in a fried egg. This is set a bit because it's been waiting around. Still good. Nice sausage, juicy. Nice bacon, pretty salty, the way I like it. <laughs> Very nice black pudding as well. You might notice I've got a little bowl of marmalade there as well, uh, because that's like, almost like your dessert, your, your sweet course after you've eaten this lot, marmalade on toast. And all washed down with a mug of tea. Anyway, thanks for watching, give it a like if you liked it, and uh, see you next time. Thank you.